Hi, this is Robin Beaumont here. YouTube video, Logistic Regression 3. It's a practical supplement to Chapter 3 of Michael Campbell's excellent little book, Statistics at Square 2. We're going to be looking at how to do the analysis in SPSS, R, and R. Logistic Regression is just where you have one or more input variables of any type, but there is always a single binary outcome variable. So, Michael Campbell has an example in his book of occupation where we have printers and farmers' wives as the two occupations, and then we have a binary outcome variable is whether they were breastfed for less than three months or three months or more. So occupation is an input variable, and whether they breastfed for less or more than three months is the outcome variable. And we notice that this time it's a nominal variable. In the last example, it was a continuous or interval ratio variable, as we call it. So, how do we enter this data into SPSS, which is our first uh, software to consider? Well, we have to enter it by defining each cell. So we have printer's wives, which is the occupation variable in the first column. In the second column, we have the length of time and then we have the count for each cell just like we did in the chi-square chapters so I've coded occupation as 0 to equals farmers wives and 1 equals printers wives and single. similarly for time I've coded more than 3 months equals 0 and less than 3 months equals 1 so more than 3 months equals 0 less than 3 months equals 1 and then we could create an odds ratio quite easy from those values. So the interesting thing is that we coded printer's wives as one and less than three months as one. So that's the important thing to notice is that they are the, the values that equal one. They're the larger of the two codings for each variable. So we have here an odds ratio of less than three months for printer's wives at the top, farmer's wives at the bottom. So that would be 36 divided by 14 all divided by 30 divided by 25 which gives us 2.14 and we can interpret that as saying that the odds of printers wise breastfeeding for less than three months are more than twice that of farmers wives and that's how Michael Campbell describes it on page 38 so the important thing to realize is the sentence and the way you create the odds ratio here is to do with the larger value of each of these variables. So there, printers wise we're referring to at the beginning of the sentence, and then we're talking about the length of time, also of less than three months, because that's the larger value. We can refer to the other values just by turning the odds around, but I won't confuse you with that. Let's get on with carrying out the analysis in SPSS now. Here we have our data in SPSSS. The first thing we've got to make sure we do is weight by the count column. So we go weight cases, and we have already weighted by the count column. That's fine. So to carry out the analysis, we go analysis, regression, binary, logistic. Analyze, regression, binary, logistic. So the dependent variable is our time that they breastfed for less than more than three months and occupation is a nominal independent variable we can look at the options all we need is a confidence interval for our estimated value hit continue okay and here are our results if we look right down the bottom we see we've got exactly the same as that produced in Campbell's book. You'll notice we have a little further up a model summary table where we have a minus two log likelihood which is 135 which if you look at Michael Campbell's book he gives minus 67. If you multiply that by two, minus two rather, you'll get the 135 which is the same. For explanations of the output look at Michael Campbell's book. To carry out the analysis in R, we're going to create several vectors with the data we need. So first of all, I've got a vector here called less underscore 3, which consists of two values, 36 and 30. Remember, 36 are the printers that 
breast wives that breastfed for less than three months and 30 of the farmers wives that breastfed for less than three months so that's for the th less than three months groups and now we're going to do exactly the same for those that breastfed more than three months there we are 14 and 25 if you look at the table you'll see that's got our four values now so we're going to join those together to form a matrix and there's our matrix called my data and we use this cbind command to join together those two vectors um, I've stopped calling one underscore three there I've just said less underscore three now is called less and more underscore three is now called more if we type in my data we'll see the result besides the dependent side of the equation we need to actually put in the independent variable res results and we do that by creating this thing called occupation this vector and it's one and zero so if you look here the occupation we actually made equal one was a printer and zero was a farmer so if we look here 36 is for the printers and 14 is the printer and 30 is for the farmer and 25 is for the farmer which equals zero now we just simply pass this data to our glm function the glim function and we get what we want so here i said our model gets this and this is the output from the glim function which stands for general linear model the general linear model takes in the formula which is dependent variable my data an independent variable occupation and because we're using logistic regression we know that the distribution of errors is binomial press return don't see anything to type in my model and it helps when you can spell it there we are exactly the same as we've got in SPSS but we've only got the logs values we haven't got the odds or ratios values so to do that we just manipulate the variable slightly so we use the exp function here exp for expen exponentiate or anti-log if you want to call it that same thing so we're saying take the coefficient from the, the model called occupation and exponentiate it and there's the value so that is the odds ratio exactly the same as Campbell produces in the book and again we can work out a confidence interval by using the conf int command so exponentiate the result which is a conf interval from the model using the parameter occupation let's return and there is the conf interval almost identical to Campbell's but different software tends to work out the conf interval slightly differently I deliberately went from SPSS straight to R in this example because it was quite easy to do. In R commander, you would just come out as this is pretty much the same as we did for the treadmill coronary artery disease one. So you can look back at that if you want to work out how to do it in R commander. Bye.